Hey guys, I'm getting tired of rats in the chicken coop. So, oh, well, they're not in the coop, they're in the run. Uh, saw them uh, a couple weeks ago, started putting out different traps. Uh, for instance, using one of these, got one the first night. And I, we only saw two on camera. Thing is, we still see only two on camera. Um, and the two that are left, or whoever else is left, uh, they don't go near those traps anymore because they saw their buddy get killed with one. Rats are smart, or they think they are. Uh, I also got a, uh, like a little have-a-heart trap or whatever. I put some uh, you know, peanut butter and chicken feed in there. They don't touch it. They run around it, they kind of smell it, but they don't go in there. Um, and I've read, you know, you can you know, tie it open, so that way they'll go in, and they come back out, and they just get used to going in and out, in and out, and then one night you, you, know, you untie it so it'll, it'll trip. But it's so small, they're only going to get one anyway, and then everyone's going to know. So, the other trick, you can use plaster of Paris and some flour. Um, you need uh, six things to do this. You need a little plate or somewhere you're gonna you're gonna put it all for them. You need any kind of container. It could be an old soup can you're about to throw out. You just want to make sure you have equal parts. You need some plaster of Paris. Uh, I just got this at the hardware store today. This was six ninety nine, and they're expensive there. So I'm sure Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart or somewhere else probably has it, five bucks or less for this. And then just regular old flour. That's one, two, three, four, fifth. Something to mix it around with. You can use a screwdriver. You can use like a pencil, whatever you want to do. And the sixth thing and the first step is a beer. Keep that close. Very important. All right, so here's what we do. Oh, I didn't tell you what it does. Plaster Paris is like a powder. Uh, once it gets wet, it'll harden up like cement. Um, and you mix it with the flour because the rats like eating flour. Uh, you can also put something nice on it, maybe like a little Uncle Steve shake. Uh, we're going to skip that part though. We're just going to try with this for now. So anyway, they eat it. And then you keep a water bowl near it. They go over and drink some water because they're like, Man, hard to swallow with all this flour. They drink the water, and then they go back and they eat a little more because they love it. And then they go back and get a little more water. They're like, man, it's really getting bad. And then it just hardens up in their digestive tract, and then they die. Um, it's not the most humane way to get rid of rats, uh, but I don't want rats, you know, pooping in the coop or pooping in the run, and then the chickens eating it. That's no good. Can't have that. Diseases, everything. So. Uh, we're going to get rid of the rats. So let's do it. It says lift. Oh, and now it's just a, uh, uh -huh. it's like a milk carton. That never works for me. In school, it would always rip there. All right. So we're going to get some of this. We'll say that's, I don't know, it's still like the 225 line right there. You can see it, it's just powder. And that's about the same. All right. I'm just going to mix it up. 
Maybe a spoon might be better. Let's see if this works. I can't tell what's what in this, so I don't know if it's mixed up real well or not. But that's it. So, tonight when I put the ducks up, um, the chickens have an automatic door. We have two different runs, and they're connected. Um, chickens have their own automatic door. They're going to go up, and then they're going to come out at 645. But I don't want them eating this, right? Because then they'd be like... <laughs> so, the ducks have a manual door in their coop. Um, that's actually where we've seen the rats more anyway. So, once I put the ducks up, when it starts to get dark out. I'll put this out there, I'll give some fresh water, make sure that's good. And then in the morning, I'll just grab this back out of there. I'll probably take, uh, if the ho if it's too cold for the hose, I'll just take um, just a little pail of water or something, just sprinkle it around. Um, maybe take a, a broom or a, you know, a, a rake or something to kind of rough everything up. Uh, that way they're not going through and eating any of it. Although I've read, they can peck at it and it's not going to do anything with small amounts, so pretty happy about that. Alright, so let's see if this works. Let's fast forward. Let's fast forward time. That's what I mean. Hey, so that's it. Uh, we headed out for uh, three nights. Did it again last night. Um, I saw one rat kind of walking around. He didn't go near our uh, our mixture though. Um, I'm just gonna mix up some new. I'm gonna try some uh, some cocoa powder in there maybe as well. Uh, the second night, they're 
pretty much into it as you can see. Um, I did add some of the, uh, just a sprinkle of the chicken food in there and mix it all up. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to keep doing it every night. I'm hoping we got that one rat. Um, but I'll uh, keep you guys informed. I'll update the description down below with uh, with progress and let you know how it, you know how we're how we're doing with it. So if you've tried this, let me know how it went. Um, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.